This is what I've never understood. The Republicans told FDR when he came up with Social Security, which was actually Francis Perkins idea, thank you very much, they called him a socialist. And he said, fine, you know, call me whatever you want. This is what's fair. Why don't Americans know the difference between an authoritarian regime and a fair economic system that shares the goods for all? You know, I don't understand it. I want somebody like you to be able to talk to the Cubans and the Venezuelans who have some reasonable complaints, but they shouldn't be scare tactics. We all need to have a fair pie in this country. It's supposedly the American myth, and socialism is a fair economic system, and somebody needs to be able to articulate that in a way that people aren't frightened. Well, I want to ask you about the writer's strike. Um, I mean, since the strike began, the AMPTP refused to go to the negotiating table um, representing billion-dollar corporations, yeah. conglomerates. Um, yeah. Generally, why do you think uh, art, art and culture, the, the issues bound up with the strike is so important in regards to art and culture? I think it's creative, it's human, it's unbelievably necessary, it feeds people's souls, it heals them from the horrors and gives them a voice to express things that they don't otherwise have the ability to express. And I sometimes wonder if those corporate greedy people don't want that um, aspect of our voices to be heard. And that's another part, yeah, we'll just be turned into AI. They don't have to worry. They won't ask for a fair salary or food or shelter or sharing the pie. Yeah. You know? Do you think artistic freedom is uh, compatible with giant conglomerates having all the power? Doesn't look like it is. We have the illusion that it is because it's always that thing. You know, I can remember when Bell Russian artists were here, and they were so thrilled that you could have the freedom to go and march Bel to the Belarus embassy. Belarusian. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, but that's part of our uh, trick here. We can say anything out here, but that doesn't change the system. Right. Well, and you never give up, though. I mean, it's not... The building isn't just a corporation. There are people inside. Yeah. And Wall Street, the excuse that CEOs sometimes say that yeah. Our job as a CEO isn't to take care of people's rights and everything. Our job as CEO is to make sure the, tax, the uh, shareholders are making as much money as they can. Well, that's just a sliver of the part of a job of the CEO. Uh, equitable rights, mor moral choices, ethical, ethical rights, equi responsibly. equitable systems for all the people who are working are, are the job of the CEOs of these companies. And, and Wall Street is... Uh, if it becomes just AI and a machine-like entity that has no heart, there's no hope.